What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Erica Williams from the Classy Climb blog. Listen, thank you for joining me today. You know, we've walked into second quarter or what we call quarter two. Many of you didn't get what you wanted quarter one, and that's okay. We're here now. And all we have to do is what? Focus on the next best 90 day steps. Now, many of you have watched the channel for years. We've been doing business like this for 10 years now. Uh, It's been a joy. It's been a thrill getting on the phone with you guys doing consults. And as we transition into different business sectors and different ventures, I always want to give you guys encouragement each quarter. I think it's so important for you guys to understand that like just because you didn't get your plan done in March, it wasn't done by February, the year is not over. Okay, I want you to understand completely the rest of this year is in your control. I don't want you building yourself up to say, man, next January, next February, next March. You have plenty of time this year to build out the life you want. There are many people I talk to that are absolutely distracted. They're distracted by their kids, their work, their ideals, their dreams. But dreams without goals build you up for disappointment. There's so many people you talk to, man, I wish I'd have traveled more when I was younger. I wish I'd have did A, B, C, D, E, F, G when I was younger. And I don't want you to think that way. I want you to be able to chart out the possibilities for a year to two years from now. I want you to be able to say, listen, I want to go to Egypt. And you know what, honey, we're going to go to Egypt by next summer. We're going to go to China next year. Never, never time has ever been like this where prices for flights are so low. Literally, they have affirmed payments for flights now. So let's say you don't have all the money you want to put towards your flight. You could literally make payments to your dream flight next year. Carnival Cruise has done it for years. I tell you guys a lot of times on this channel about how our family would go 20, 30 people deep on Carnival Cruises together. And why would we do that? Because we know we could put $100 down and make payments for the rest of the time being until we got on that boat. I want you to understand that anything that you think is capable of happening will happen. And whatever you aim a lot of focus on is also possible. If you're focusing all your day on the gossip channels and what is P. Diddy doing and and what is Cat Williams saying, and, and I have been victim to those things too. They're fun. They're tasty little sound clips that make you lose train of thought and focus. But what I want to encourage you to do is lose focus of those things. Let those things go for a little bit. I'd much rather you tell me these amazing ideals you have for the next nine months of this year, even the next six weeks. There are so many people I tell you when I talk about blue collar businesses and service businesses and a lot of people on this channel who have taken Middleman to Millions course, the next 90 days, I mean, let's just really think about it. May, June, July, these are amazing times if you're in lawn care, window washing, power washing, uh, the sidewalks, you're talking about maid services, cleaning companies. You're going to make a ton of money. Why? Kids are everywhere. Businesses need cleaning. Offices need cleaning. Even though the school's empty, the floor needs stripping, right? Uh, there are so many opportunities in the next 90 days in the service industry. Whether it's roofing, it's sales, there'll be all these kids out of college for the summer and they'll need summer work. Great opportunities abound. So I don't want you to lose sight that, man, I had this business ideal and I didn't get started on time, Erica. I had this ideal, Erica, but I didn't get started right in February or right when I got my income tax check. Don't don't lose sight of that. I don't even want you to say, man, Erica, I really wanted to get that uh, Acre Boys course on land flipping and I just didn't do it in time. That's okay. We're only in second quarter. We have plenty of time to focus on whatever path you're thinking of at this moment. And I, one of the first things I always advise everybody who either gets on a phone call with me or is on the Classy Climb channel to get a calendar book. I had to go and get a new one because I accidentally lost mine on a trip. Very disturbing, very upset about that. But I, I got a smaller, shorter one instead of the big one. And I sat down and I looked through my notes in my phone. I looked up through Ticketmaster, the music concerts I might want to go to. Hey, I, I occasionally buy four tickets to a concert. And if we can't find a group of friends to go, me and my sniff together, we sell the other two tickets. 
it's a free concert for us, right? But the only way that's possible is getting the tickets early, right? Knowing when the pre-sale date is coming. How do I know that? I have a nice handy dandy calendar book that I sit out and I plan out the year and I go, hmm, okay, right now it's March, but I know Chris Brown's coming to Austin in July. I know country music uh, shows are coming all over July. I know so many events are happening in September, October, June, right? Why so early? Because you know it's super crazy hot here in Texas. Uh, but but I know those things because I look them up and I write them down. Studies show when you write things down, actually better memory. You actually remember them better, all right? This is why your teacher got so mad when you brought laptops to school or laptops to college or, or you're like, oh, I hear you. No, 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 write it down. It's one of the best ways to uh, be, be truthfully see in front of you a full calendar of events. Because listen, number one thing I always hear from people is, oh, Erica, it's so boring out here. There's nothing to do. I can't find anything to do in this small town I'm in. And nine times out of 10, I can hop on the computer and find things for them in no time. But I want you to get the calendar. Why do I want you to get the calendar? Because if you're able to chart it out, if you're able to stand back just enough, you'll see over the next six months, your life is absolutely fabulous, right? You've been on trips and vacations and everything over the next six months. If you say, man, once a week, we're going to go do dinner with each other, babe. If you say once a week, we're going to a music concert. Once a week, we're going somewhere on an adventure for you and I or you and the kids. And how do you really know that happened? Or you can plan it in advance unless you write it down. One of the hardest things I get pushback from on my clients is writing it down. If you just write it down, now you can flip over to that calendar at any point in time and see it was on the schedule. What happened? You've probably been seeing these commercials for Middleman to Millions course. What is Middleman to Millions? We're teaching so many people how to have service businesses. The upcoming year, one of the fastest growing businesses you will see are service businesses and digital businesses. Why is that? Because so many things need repairs, need maintenance. And guess what? We have a shortage of men and also women who could do things. Listen, I'm not the best with a hammer, but I know I can gather a crew of people to get things done. And that's what I've done with two of my service businesses. And that's what I'll be teaching if you check us out in the Middleman and Millions course and look forward to us on the road with Digital Liberty Tour 2024. It's Girl Erica Williams. One of the toughest things about you going into second quarter is many people say, well, Erica, I had this dream. I had this vision for my budget and, and I didn't get I didn't get it, the year kicked off right. That's OK. We still have nine more months. Whatever it is, you know what I'm going to tell you, right? Write it down. Right. And so uh, in that calendar, the goal of that calendar is not just putting events and parties and dates and, and beach time with your family. It's also giving yourself weekly reminders of tasks you have. Uh, what I really like about those calendars is I can flip over. And sometimes they'll say weekly or they'll say the by the day, right? And so usually on those weeks, I usually say, this is the task or the four or five tasks I want done that week for this business. Now, you guys know I have more than one business and two of them are faceless brands that I actually love and they're really growing strongly this summer. And part of how I know they're growing is I'm writing it down. And two, I can look at KPIs that show me we got certain tasks done. We got certain emails out. We have certain UGC creators creating content for us. And that is something you can track. These are all trackable. You know, a lot of people want to have this spontaneous, fun life. And I know you're not 20 anymore. You're in your 30s, your 40s, you're watching this video. But you can still plan a very fun life if you plan. You can still have a very full, fulfilling summer if you plan. You can still have a very robust business if you plan. See, a lot of people want motivation to move them and inspiration. And Oh, the sun is out. Now I'm going to change all my habits and do 180 degree difference. And honestly, that's not how it works. Sometimes you have to write it down and you look at your calendar. Oh, no, we have a dinner planned. We're going over to this side of town on this date. You're telling yourself things in advance to prepare yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally for those events. And that's the same when it comes to money, it comes to business, and it comes to life.
If you're telling yourself right now, man, the year's half over, Erica. I've already, it's already March. It's already April. March madness done passed. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I want you to take a minute and take a deep breath. I want you to head over to Office Depot and I want you to grab a calendar and I want you to start planning your beautiful year with that calendar, right? That's the best item I can do for you. Now you can say, Erica, well, well, that's great planning events, but I don't have any money. (laughs) And this is where I tell you, when you say you don't have any money, I have no money, we're broke. These are very negative closed loop mindset thoughts. And the best way to fix yourself and free yourself from just saying, we don't have any money, we're broke, it's all over. It immediately shuts down your thinking. I want you to write on that calendar the ideal events you want to go to. Now, I'll write out like two, three events a week. I'm writing them out. I'm talking, we're going ice skating. We're doing this. We're doing that. We're going, we're going to the Utah for the summer. We're going to Yellowstone for the summer. And I may not get all those events done. This is very true. I may not get all those events done because I may have to curtail my budget along the way. Or I may have to say, you know what? In order to get that done, we've got to add A, B, C, F, D, G, F, D to this, to our budget to get there. But at least if I have some type of plan, I can aim for it. If I say, I know I got to fly to Alaska to ride a horse for eight days, which this is a real thing I'm doing in the wilderness, I need to go look up how much airline tickets are for Alaska in June now. Not later, now. Not wait till the last minute and say, I can't afford the tickets now because the prices are too high. Nine times out of 10, I tell you guys this on the channel, you don't believe me. I plan out my year and I will go look up tickets and there'll be 120 bucks. I'll fly to North Carolina, see family. I'll fly to New York. I'll fly to Atlanta. I already have tickets perched for events. And I mean, I have a a one week in April. That's so crazy. I go to uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Then I go back home. Then I go to Atlanta. Then I go to the beach in Florida. And it all was pre-purchased tickets for about a hundred bucks a a flight. I mean, it's a really good deal. And because I plan the year out in advance, these are places I want to be. I want to go. It matters to me. I do buy non, I buy refundable tickets, of course, at times, but I make sure to buy the ticket because then I'm going to build out the rest of the plan. I'm going to build out the rest of the trip. I'm going to find the Airbnb. I'm going to find the hotel. And a lot of times people wait to the last minute in life and in planning their money. And this is where they get frustrated. So I hope this was uh, helpful for you today. And we're going to continue more on this conversation. I hope you guys have also been enjoying the series on luxury beliefs. Uh, It's a luxury belief that you can't afford it, right? Or only those other people can afford it. Or, oh, my life is so hectic. And that's not true. Majority of people's lives are spent going to nine to five and sitting at home Netflixing. Life gets fun and refreshing and new if you plan it. You guys, this is your girl, Erica, from the Classic Climb blog. If you see this, by the time you see this, we have one more tour date in Atlanta, May 4th and 5th, in the middle of Midtown. Why? Because Cinco de Mayo is coming up, and it's going to be an amazing event. I'm super happy to see you guys. We should have Edgar Boys, and we should have Financially Free D at that event speaking. Uh, you guys, you don't want to miss it. It's one of our last for the year. We've converted our Cancun and our Ban of Trip and partnered with some other Uh, social media folks to do a mastermind at those locations. So if you missed any of the tour, the best date for you to catch me is Atlanta. And I hope to see you there May 4th and 5th. Shigar Erica, Classic Climb, later. What's up, May 5th and 6th? Join me in Atlanta for the Digital Liberty Tour. We have a collection of good hosts and speakers coming through. I'm so excited. Uh, We're going to be teaching you how to power up from your phone to have 24-7 income coming in. How? Affiliate marketing. Uh, We're going to teach you about a lot of content creation. Also, how to create YouTube and Facebook ads and Google ads. Listen, we also are going to have credit specialists there. We're also going to have, because funding is going to be so very vital and important in 2024, we're also going to have the Acre Boys fly down from New York to teach you about the importance of buying land online, the digital space where you don't have to leave your home. Again, the power of the liberty, the liberty comes from being able to do this, any of this stuff on your phone. Also, we'll have a service business specialist in there helping you show how they've grown their business online by using the tools that online prefers. Uh, listen, we don't want you to leave this, this event without being able to master Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, or what uh, 
type of stream of income you'd like to desire. There's going to be a workbooks included, and you know we're going to eat tacos on Cinco de Mayo. So be there or be square. The link's in the bio. We're going to be at a beautiful Kipton Shane Hotel. Fancy. You're going to love it. This is your girl, Erica, Classic on Blog. See you guys there.